Welcome to this short introduction to using a terminal and the command line on a Linux system. My name is Mr. Gauvin and uh, this is for my year 10 GCSE students who are starting their A452 practical in investigation uh, coursework for their GCSE. So I've got um, a terminal window over here. Now if I um, change directory to have a look inside another directory, uh, video ones let's say, and I list all the files with the ls commands into this directory. We find a lot of screencast files over here including the ones I've just done for the year 11 students. Now let's um, just uh, uh, as a very quick practice let's uh, use a couple of commands to show you what can be done easily with the terminal. First let's go back one level to my home directory and then create um, a directory structure for um, a practical project like UA452 for example. So mkdir for make directory, let's call it a452 investigation Now, if I use the up arrow, I just click on the up arrow now, it brings back the previous commands you've used. So, if I want to not have to retype, oops, if I don't want to have to retype this text, by using the up arrow, I can then go to another part of what I typed and then I'm changing mkdir to cd for change directory. So now I'm into my investigation and then it's an empty directory so when I type ls nothing happens. So let's make another directory for my evidence, another one for my research and another one for my Word documents when I start to type them. Right, now what um, I would like to do is let's say I would like to copy those two um, video files from the video directory into the research directory that I've just created. So I could use the cp command. Now I'm going to use this wiggly sign and that means the home directory so from the home directory I need to go into videos and now I'm going to use a special character the question mark now the question mark means any one character so part question mark dot mp4 now I've got two uh, mp4 files called part something, it's part 1 and part 2. So I'm going to copy, to grab those two files and now I'm going to specify where I want them. And I want them into my, um, so again, the wiggly sign, A452 investigation. And then that's going to go into Research. Right, so if I do a CD search and I list the content of my directory, I found those two files I've just copied. So it's, uh, it's working. There are some things that are faster to do with a command line. There are some very, very powerful things you can do with a command line. Um, it's definitely not part of your uh, work but in just a couple of minutes earlier I was able to download and install a program that let me assemble those two mp4 files into just one file. Um, I was recording a screencast and then I clicked the wrong button when I wanted to pause instead I stopped recording so I ended up with two files instead of one and it took me less than five minutes to assemble them with a command line. I will not be uh, recording more screencasts for your practical investigation 
because it's your job to do your own research but I encourage you to uh, do a lot of googling and to try it out for yourself as much as possible until you start to uh, see that it's a very powerful tool and that will make it easier for you to uh, write your, um, your document. Thank you for listening.